Uh, OK, another one who is desperate for a new beginning, a new start, a fresh start, is, of course, Prince Harry. He's no longer going to slag off the royal family. Did you know that? It is a new era for the Montecito moaners. Well, Kinsey Schofield, the safest Schofield on television, royal commentator, founder of To Die For Daily and host of the Majesty podcast. Good morning, Kinsey. Hello, Christo. I was hoping that you guys would keep the Schofield saga lower third for my appearance as well. Well, actually, are you now to sort of rebrand yourself just just Kinsey? Because you know it's such a toxic name to have in the world of television now. Maybe you should you should you should just be that. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh my God, that producer is is it Tom? Is that Tom? It is Tom. It says Schofield saga. I love that man. Uh, you know, I actually thought my last name would be Timberlake by now, so I've just kind um, of accepted that I'm a failure as a human being. Yeah, same hit, Christo Cavill. <laughs> and I, I think every, <laughs> that would have been nice. Every day that 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 window seems to be getting smaller. Every single yeah. day, that window seems to be getting smaller. Henry, morning, if you're listening. Uh, Henry, if you're watching, we know you are. We know you love your royal gossip, yes. Henry. Yeah, Henry, we're here. We're, we're here. We're ready. And when we say Henry, we don't, of course, mean Prince Harry, which is, of course, his proper name. So uh, let's talk about this first story about them, because is it true? Tell me, because, you know, sometimes I do worry about these things. Is it true that they said this week that they're not going to talk about the royal family anymore? Or, or did I fall down and smack my little head on the pavement? OK, so what happened was a close source to Harry and Meghan told The Sun that they did not intend to talk about the royal family anymore, that they were go that they wanted to move on from the drama. However, I have a theory. Do you want to hear it? What's your theory? My theory is that um, the Invictus documentary has stalled. The heart of Invictus, we haven't heard about that in quite some time. That was supposed to come out in summer 2023. We've heard nothing about it. I think like the Harry and Meghan documentary, like the book, that there have been challenges in getting it produced because Harry and Meghan are challenging to work with. And a part of me wonders if they did give someone permission to tell the son that they were no longer going to talk about the royal family to try to soften the audience that might watch Heart of Invictus or soften the person sitting on the couch. So maybe they're more apt to actually stream this this project when it does come to fruition because they they have said in the past through people that they would like to work behind the scenes, but there's no proof of return on investment for any product they create without talking about the royal family. And so Heart of Evic Evictus could be that first project. It has to be a success. And so maybe they're trying to soften things um, by, is, is, by is, is, is making of this, these type of stories. For Netflix? Yes. So Netflix are literally going to be putting their head in their hands saying, why have you said this? What, the, any chance of anyone tuning in to this documentary about Invictus But I games? think they realise that they have angered royal watchers and they need royal watchers to tune into something like Heart of Invictus. No, but do you, do, you, do, you, do you think Netflix give two hoots about who is watching their shows as long as someone is watching their shows? I, t I take what you're saying, that maybe the press wouldn't be very good about it, but do you think Netflix was sort of sitting there going, God, everyone's saying negative things about this documentary that now 150 million people have watched. Of course not. Netflix are about, are about the only people that watched that documentary and went brilliant, but amazing. You and I, you and I watched that documentary because they were talking negatively about the royal family. Yes. It, it it angered us. It gave us months of content to to um, you know stew over. And I think that Harry and Meghan were, I, I heard from page six that Harry and Meghan were taken aback by all of the negative attention from the ca nearly catastrophic two hour car chase. 
And I think that they are determined to soften people's feelings towards them. So maybe this is the first step. I mean, they have, if they want to continue to produce content, if they want to work behind the scenes and they want people to turn on their shows and not totally reject them because they loathe them, they've got to soften their brand. I mean, that was a very near catastrophic car chase. There was very, very dangerous driving. There was very, very uh, 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 precarious situations they were put in. But unfortunately, it was by their own driver. <laughs> that's, that's the yeah. problem. It was not by anyone yeah, else. It just Exactly. And, you know, they've they've tried to it's interesting that they haven't said anything since, you know, they demanded footage and all the footage has mysteriously not come to fruition. So that's, you know, I think that that says a lot. Um, so they're not going to slag off the royal family anymore. Do you believe that that is the case or do you believe that they are saying it? Uh, but deep down, they know that it's the only it's the only thing they've got to sell okay well let me i think okay the official line was they have nothing left to say it wasn't necessarily that they're not going to slag off the royal family anymore and so my argument is nothing left to say completely contradicts harry's interview with the telegraph where he said he left a lot on the table and spare to protect his brother and his father additionally they say there were like 400 pages rejected by the uh, by the by the by the the lawyers the publishers lawyers that they just were you know they wouldn't approve because they there was some fear involved there so nothing left to say is a factually inaccurate declaration because we know that harry has things that he hasn't said yet Meghan markle has told us that she has a diary that she kept at frogmore cottage oh, I while bet she was she a royal did. oh i yeah, bet I mean, she did so that is a factually inaccurate declaration. There is plenty more for them to say. I think that if this if this quote is true, that it is a PR move to try to get people to loathe them less. But you're reported in the New York Post this week also saying, you yourself, um, that, that the exploration of their past is nowhere near done and i'm inclined to agree with you i think that these are brilliant words you know oh, we just want to talk about the evictus games oh we don't want to have anything controversial um but it is it is rubbish and that, that, that of course they've got lots more to say yes and you know i actually had a year ago i had lunch with a mutual friend of ours in los angeles um she's an itv personality that i haven't seen speak out about philip schofield recently and of she you found introduced one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found I found the one, and um, she, uh, she introduced me to a man whose partner was working on a project with Prince Harry. Now, I've heard in the past that Harry wants to do something about his mother's death. That he has, you know, really studied his mother and her life more than one person has approached him about creating content about his mother. And I do think he has strongly considered it. Um, and so I think that there are several different things he could do where he explores his past. I don't think he's done talking about his past because that's the only lucrative option for the Sussexes. No one cares about them otherwise. Yeah, gosh. Do you know what would work really well in a documentary about his mother? is a near catastrophic car chase involving the press that they well, I, are in themselves i, I mean i, I don't want to say i don't want to say I, I i just realized i kind of i did i just realized i didn't finish my story about the friend that we had in common that i saw last year and met that person i think what i'm trying to say is too that i haven't seen that project happen so what's interesting to me about prince harry is that i think they have a hard time executing i think that they are there are, are so many opportunities for them so many creative outlets for them and there's they're a challenge to work with you can look at the revolving door of archwell employees and I don't, you know, I don't know how they straighten out and straighten up, but because they're so difficult to work with, they have a really hard time executing and, and seeing things come to fruition.